I'm Jagir, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can operate like Mark Cuban or Theo Pathetis from Dragon's Den or the Shark Tank. If you've watched those programs, those guys are venture capitalists. And I'm going to show you how you can get involved as a retail venture capitalist. You can operate as them, get into early stage projects for the maximum upside with minimum downside. And you might be wondering, who are you, Jagir? Wow! <laughs> Today's topic is very, very relevant because I'm the award-winning author of the extraordinary new venture capital opportunity and how to invest like a pro. Now, when I wrote this book, the extraordinary new venture capital opportunity was partly referring to crypto because you can operate as a venture capitalist. And if you like today's content, by the way, because my job is to simplify this very complex space of investing, Bitcoin, blockchain, crypto, risk management, emotions, fear, greed, fear, uncertainty and doubt, fear of missing out. And I'm gonna make it easier for you to get up to speed. If you like today's content, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, because I wanna bring you daily nuggets of wisdom by layman's terms in English. So let's dive straight in. So venture capital, what is it? Let's read the exact definition. So startup companies with a potential to grow need certain amounts of investment. They need cash, they need oxygen to get to their first and second stage of growth. So wealthy investors like to invest their capital in such businesses with a long-term growth perspective. The capital is known as venture capital. So now you know what venture capital is, just early stage investment. And investors are called venture capitalists, right? So just think of it as Dragon's Den, or the Shark Tank, if you've seen those programs, the guys on the panel, they'll be referred to as venture capitalists. But today we wanna to talk about you, about you becoming a retail venture capitalist, meaning that you, for the first time in all of human history, can get involved in these really early stage projects, but you have the benefit of something called liquidity, which means you can exit your investments within weeks, months, six months, even a year, when you want, basically, whereas traditional venture capitalists have to hold their investment for five to seven years. So that's a game changer for you. So let's put this into real layman's terms, right? We have something called market capitalization. We're gonna look at the size of a company. We'll talk about that in a second and the business growth. So market capitalization just means how much money is in that project in a nutshell, in a nutshell, keeping it very, very simple. And the bigger the market cap, the bigger the project, right? And we wanna invest into young stage companies which have a low market cap and hold on to them as they grow into large market cap. And as they grow, your investment grows. Make sense? Right, that's what venture capitalists are always looking to do. They're looking to get in early and then they can ride the growth of that company and maximize their potential. So they're looking for the next Facebook, but before it's Facebook. They're looking for the next Amazon, but before it's Amazon. They're looking for the next Uber before it's Uber. So they'll get into the early phase before the world knows about that company. So let's just jump into this now. There's a few different rounds. There's a, they, call, they call it investment rounds. And the early stage, the earliest stage is often referred to as the seed round. And I want you to picture it literally like a seed that's been planted for the first time into fertile soil, but it hasn't proven anything yet or very little. Maybe a bit of proof of concept it, but it's just a young seed that hasn't really sprouted yet, right? So it's early, which means there's higher risk, but also much higher reward. So at this stage, let's just say that company was worth 10 million, and we're referring it to as 10 million market cap, the total money locked into that project at the moment. We wanna get into it early, because up here, let me just pull out my laser so you can really make sure this is clear to you, because this, this is important. We want to look at, right, if it's 10 million when you're getting in, which is early, and it, we're going to hold it until it's a billion market cap. What is that growth? What is that growth? Well, that growth, and this is what venture capitalists experience all the time, is a 100x. 100x in percentage terms is 10,000%. That means if you manage to invest in a company that was 10 million market cap, and you invested, let's say, $1,000, and you got 100x, once it grows to this level, your value of your investment is now a hundred thousand. That is possible. Not easy, not easy, but it is possible if you know what you're doing. And then companies grow, right? Like a plant grows, a seed sprouts and it kind of grows. Here, we see it's grown. 
And let's just say that growth representing the market cap is 50 million. So it's gone from 10 million to 50 million because it's grown, it's proven some stuff. So now the growth, we're getting in slightly later, still venture capital because it's still early, but it's later than the seed round. Seed round's the, the youngest phase. And the upside potential from 50 million to a billion is 20X, which is still 2000%, which is insane. And this is available in crypto land. I like to call it crypto land where gravity doesn't exist because the rules are different to do traditional finance. So here, 20X, 2000% means if you manage to invest in a stage like this and hold it and knew what you were doing and got to a billion valuation or market cap, 1,000 invested with a 20X or 2000% is 20,000, right? Are you seeing the power of this? This is available and hasn't been available before. So this is really, really new to the world as a whole, as you know, looking at over the centuries that have gone by, now we're in this really special time we'll called uh, crypto and blockchain. And then what happens next? Well, plant grows to its next phase of growth. And at this stage, let's just say, we're calling it 250 market cap. What's the growth potential? Well, between here and here, you're getting in later. So therefore between 250 million market cap to a billion, can you work it out? You can probably pull out your calculator if you wanted to, but I'm going to do it for you. Between here and here, it's a Forex, which is 400%. So if you invested a thousand and, and you held it for that full Forex or 400%, that thousand is now worth 4,000. That's still amazing. Like keep it in mind that your banks probably pay you less than 1%. Your ISAs probably pay you less than 3%. And if you're, you know, trading and, you know, traditionally money managers make 10 to 15, 20% a year and 20% is considered amazing. And here you can now can take control of your own financial health and future by understanding that there's this extraordinary new venture capital opportunity, but you do want to know how to invest like a pro. And then what happens next? Well, a plant tends to typically keep growing. Not all plants make it, by the way. Some plants don't make it. And once that plant then goes to the next phase, which it becomes a tree, a giant oak tree, now, if you get in at that stage, you want to almost think about it just, just in terms of layman's terms, like getting into Facebook before everyone knew it was Facebook at a seed round, that's early. And manage you, you managed to hold it until it got listed on the stock exchange. Well, that's going to be big time gains. But over here, let's just say you bought Facebook when it was already listed on the stock exchange. Well, the growth side is going to be much less. So it's still brilliant though, because you can get into a project that's 500 million market cap, hold it till it gets to a billion market cap, that's to the 2x, which is 200% gross. Meaning, if you invested 1,000, that 1,000 will turn into 2,000. If it was 10,000, it turned to 20,000. So it's still really, really, really powerful. Yeah, so you've seen it? So now you know how to become a retail venture capitalist. And I like to focus in this space, you know, I, I'm really even, even lower in, in this space over here. The 100x's and the 20x's is really, really powerful. It does take some work. You do need to know what to do, but you can see that the returns are worth the work. All right, so you, now you know how to be a retail venture capitalist and hopefully you can see what venture capital is, but how you can become one on a micro scale, hence retail venture capitalist. And if you like today's video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification because I want to bring you these daily nuggets of wisdom by English and in a layman's terms so you can leverage your own investment journey. If you're new and you want to get up to speed very, very fast, I've created a free, and it is free, crypto masterclass how to fund your retirement. It'll be in the link below. Take it, enjoy it, learn, take loads of notes. Love to hear your feedback. But yes, that's today's lesson. So I will see you very, very soon.